you have the likes of Visa, MasterCard, and American Express uh, have agreed to categorize gun sales, and I'm assuming ammunition sales at some point, in a different category uh, of, of their record keeping, right? <clears throat> and th th this is an issue. Th this is a big time issue because if you can't see what little things like this do day in and day out, whether it's about a vaccine, whether it's about how you can spend your money and how much you can spend your money, whether or not you can own a weapon, whether or not you can write open source code if without going to jail, if you can't see what these tiny little infringements are doing to the bigger picture of sovereignty and freedom, not only in the US, but in the world, you're missing the picture entirely, right? Like so many people get fixated on one thing. Well, okay, this is about gun control. I'm automatically happy about this article right here because now we'll be able to pinpoint people who buy guns, right? If that's all you see, from this type of article, then then I'm sorry, you you are just you you have your blinders on. You're not seeing the big picture about how the government is trying to control every single facet of your life. You will own nothing and you will be happy about it. You will have no freedom and you will be happy. Right. So the problem that I have with with this this happening with Visa and MasterCard isn't necessarily about, oh, well, they just want to know who's buying a gun. What's wrong with that? It's go ahead and pull up that blue highlighted section of an article real quick, that picture. Okay. So right here. So Elizabeth Warren, basically a whole bunch of Democrats convinced credit card companies to, to categorize these gun sales in a way where they are basically setting a standard that if you cannot pass a law in Congress and through the government, then all I'm going to do is manipulate somebody, in this case, a credit card company, to carry out my agenda for me, right? It completely takes away the whole purpose of having a government, having a democratic process where laws are voted in. We have a constitution that we follow. And if, 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 they, if certain politicians can't get that to go through in the government, well, then fine. We'll just manipulate you know, the credit card companies or whoever else, the pharmaceutical company. You can apply it to whatever you want. So it's not about guns. This is more about control. And what I do think will happen from this, I mean, let's make no mistake about it. I, I am absolutely a Second Amendment fan. I am a gun owner. I am a former police officer. I am absolutely about having my firearms, 100%, right? But what I'm not about is, is people passing, can't they can't pass a law so they find another way to loophole it, right? It's It's yes. just, it's not good. So what I think will happen is when, a bunch in this case, when a bunch of gun advocates start getting accounts frozen because they went and legally purchased firearms or legally purchased a certain number of ammunition, when they all of a sudden get flagged by their credit card company and their credit cards shut down or their bank accounts frozen, that's going to be their orange pill moment. It will be. Everybody needs a reason to get into Bitcoin. Or the knock on person. their door. Right. Everybody yes. needs a reason to get into Bitcoin. A, a wise man once told me, you will pay the price you deserve for Bitcoin, right? And whenever that moment happens for you, you will go down the rabbit hole and you will figure out very quickly why Bitcoin is the hardest form of money that has ever existed. And you will understand now why these crazy people, you know, put so much time and effort and, and fiat into Bitcoin, right? Bitcoin is, is simply the greatest invention of personal freedom since the gun. That's why people want to regulate it. That's why people want to attack it. Okay. And that's Bitcoin was invented because banks kept chipping away at logical monetary policy. So Bitcoin was invented, right? And this gun agenda here with credit card companies is simply the exact same shit with a different topic attached to it. It's the same thing, right? And if you want to get control of your money, then buy Bitcoin, right? Get into the space, figure it out. This, I'm, I'm passionate about this just because this is, this is about control and they can't get what they want in the federal government. So they're going to go to the credit card, you know, credit card companies to carry out their agenda. It's, it's blatant or blatant and it's flagrant and it's just garbage. And it's not about gun control. If you are okay with the government doing this, then this will hit you on something that you believe later. It just won't be about gun control. It'll be something else. And thank you for the best clip that we will have ever had on this channel. Very well. <laughs> that was fucking awesome. Damn.